piece is called The Whitest Thing by Adam Faulkner. Owning your own white guilt isn't cool yet. So you stuff the soft parts of other kids' cultures into your pockets until you believe that they are not there at all. You are a matching sweatsuit jukebox stock with everything from Ice Cube to Outkast. Entire albums memorized and coiled in the damp of your throat. They are gunfire in the air above the high school parking lot. And that is as black as you think possible. And pulling blunts the size of magic markers into your small lungs before school is black. And your dance routines are black. They call you Justin Timberlake. Your crossover is the blackest, though you are the only white boy on the court anyway. They call you Steve Kerr. You used to look at a freckle on your left hand and imagine your entire body that color. How much easier it would be for you if you were you, if that were the case. And until someone tells you otherwise, well, that is black too. And it isn't that you don't know you're white, right? I mean, less white is all you really want to be. And you're sure that there are good parts about having white skin too, even if you cannot see them yet. No one asks you where you came from or how you got here, which is good. This you could not answer anyhow. You just appear with an insatiable hunger to touch things that do not belong to you in a culture that fits like a bed sheet. No one calls you carpetbagger, tells you that you cannot place your favorite things about black people into a single bucket and try them on and parade around for years on your front lawn to feel better. But what you cannot say until it's time to come inside for dinner. So you do who exactly that. You dip your toe in and then out, and you run when you must. But you stay when you choose. And that, well, that is the whitest thing of all. <laughs>